Thanks to everyone who have subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. You die for nothing. Take away lesson from Arno Musk. Malam Nahu Ribadu, Panya Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, scored a major political goal on Saturday when he brought Nigerian political and business elites together at the Arno Al Mosque in Abuja. They came to attend the wedding of Nahum two sons, Mahmoud and Abba and Abu Bakr Sahid, to their beloved partners, Aminatu and Fatima. President Buhari was the only major political actor that was absent, but he was ably represented by, the, by a delegate led by Chief of Staff, Ababa. Luckily, the wedding was held without any incident. Photos of Tinubu and Atiku discussing at the wedding. However, images of the occasion offered some sovereign lessons to Nigerian politi polit politicians followers who break bottles and kill themselves all in the name of politics. At the top, the elite, they can't be, to use a pigeon phrase, made popular by former President Olusegu Obasanjo. The political elite surely know how to sort themselves out despite superficial differences on political talks. Just watching Vice President Yemi Osibanjo and former Vice President Atiku Abubakar sharing a big mouthful laughter, watching Bola Tinubu and Atiku discuss as old friends, or Delegate Economic Minister Isa Patome sit calmly beside Abubakar Atiku. The truth is, there is no fight upstairs. It's politics makes believe. We cannot but argue and agree with the comment of Olusegu of Oluwaseyi Adeniyi, who posted photos of the wedding, showing the delegates exchanging pleasantries today at the wedding of Fatima and Mahmoud. My beloved Nigerians, you think the political elites are fighting? If you allow yourself to be killed in the name of defending them, you die for nothing. Well, this is a very vital lesson. And sincerely, I want to say prayer for the person who took these pictures. God bless you. As you can see in the photos, as they are rolling by, while you are listening to this message, there is no fight upstairs. They know how to sort themselves out. You can imagine what goes on during election. How young, vibrant youths, some only sons, some have just young wives that are even pregnant. They've not even seen their first child. Some at different stages and levels in life, kill themselves, injure themselves to the point that they make themselves useless. In the last election, I tell you, there was an altercation and a young man of less than 30 years have one of his legs amputated during the course of the riots. How is he going to live his life? Whatever party he's supporting, APC or PDP, do not even know or recognize him. He's going to be there for his rest of his life, one leg less. Not because he had an accident or he was ill or it was a sickness or something, but just because he went to fight for somebody who does not even know if he exists. And guess what? No compensation, no help of any kind. There are some certain jobs he cannot do, not trying to, uh, to, to talk down on him, or discriminate against um, those who have um, 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 disabilities. No, this is, this is the cost. This is something he cost upon his own self. There are some certain jobs, some certain speed he cannot do in life. Take for instance, if he was an athlete, he can no longer play football effectively, running around on two foot. He can no longer, there are some certain things he can no longer do for sure. 
And guess what? The person he fought for, child is not even in this country. He's studying abroad. The person he fought for does not even know his name or know if he exists or know if he has not had a square meal or a, a bite of a meal in a single day. We need to stop this nonsense. Let them sort out themselves. It doesn't matter how much you are paid or given. Please, be wise. Like the pigeon English says, they, they, can, they, they know how to sort themselves out. Don't get yourself involved in their political space. Don't be used. Don't be used. Did you hear what recently just happened? Buhari's daughter used the presidential jet for her own private, her own, her own movement and was received in, in, a, in, a, in, an, in, a, in a kind of in a kind of exotic manner by even the very emir and the governor's wife of Bauchi State. You are there fighting for them. Ah, please take brain. Be wise. Be wise. They don't care about you. They are all out there to sort out themselves and for their own selfish gain and purpose. They are even training their children to come over and to come and rule over you if you are not careful. If we don't sit up, Nigerians. So let's stop this fighting of ourselves in the name of APC PDP. Please spread the word. Talk to people about it. Don't be quiet. Let them hear that these people don't care about you. Let's move forward in Nigeria. When there's an election, vote. Go, go to your house. Don't fight for anybody. Don't lobby for anybody. Don't uh, steal ballot buses for anybody. They don't care. They don't. Ah, Please, my brothers, my sisters, advise yourself. Go about your daily activities. Pray. If you are interested, join politics. Do it wisely. Come out glorious. Don't tell, allow anybody put you in their space and use you. Afterwards, you were dumped. I want to say a big shout out. Thank you to everyone who have subscribed. I appreciate you greatly. Please keep the subscriptions coming. If you have not, please click on the subscription button, not the notification button, so that you can get all our latest news. And please share, like, uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening and do have a wonderful day. God bless. Don't forget to leave a comment at the comment section. Have a lovely day. Bye.